they're a, the real kind of game-changing rod, in my opinion. I just can't get over the backbone of, you know, this for five weight. I honestly feel like this is the best fly rod that I've ever fished. Blake with the Ugly Bug Fly Shop here. Today we're talking about the new Orvis Helios, or the fourth generation Helios. So a bunch of you are probably gonna call it the H4. I think Orvis is just calling it the Helios, but this would be the, the fourth generation of it and a bunch of improvements with this newer, this newer model. So this rod series has two different distinct models. It has the, the F series for finesse and the D series for distance and more of your uh, backbone, obviously saltwater profiles, that sort of stuff. But they've done all kinds of cool upgrades to this. I love the new rod tubes. I love the new look. I think this is still a carbon fiber tube like the H3, but it feels like the coating's uh, baked on and a little more durable than probably what the, the H3 tubes were. Like always, it's got a label on it. So this one here is a, a nine foot 10 weight in the D series. It's gonna come with your warranty card, a cool Orvis sticker like, like normal. The rod sock even has an improvement to it. So uh, unlike most rod socks, it would have a, two straps or four straps in order to tie. This one has a nice little nifty buckle that uh, is super easy to click and unclick, but it also makes sure that you've wound the rod sock tight enough so it'll go into the rod tube appropriately. The D series are a matte black finish. The F series here is more of a slate greenish, uh, like a deep olive green that's in a matte finish as well. Super sharp, but they are uh, two distinctly different colors, especially when you set them side by side. Uh, like always, they've got the really cool rod alignment dots to help you put the rod together perfectly. So you just line the dot on the lower side up with the dot on the upper side and you're good to go. The F series would basically be everything. I think they make it in a six weight uh, and even a seven weight if I'm not mistaken down. Again, that's more of a presentation uh, series. They make a bunch of them all the way down to seven and a half feet. So it would be kind of tight spaces, small creeks, um, more intimate settings. I think, you know, for here on the plat, we're obviously kind of a five weight, six weight uh, sort of fishery. And I think uh, they've, they've really kind of hit, they've got two rods in that kind of sweet spot here for the plat. I think the, the six weight F as well as the five weight D are both gonna be great rods. And obviously the, the six weight D is not gonna be overkill at all. So on the F series, they went to a, a burl wood reel seat. So they still have the really cool up locking uh, back into it so that you can't twist this up lock ring. Uh, that keeps your reel perfectly in line, uh, obviously reduces the chances of it getting snagged or twisted. Uh, super handy feature and kind of, again, one of those small little things that uh, you don't think makes that big of a deal until you have a rod without it and then you notice it right out, right out of the gate. The Finesse series also has a uh, more of a silver uh, reel seat to go with the burled wood. And then as you move up, it's obviously got the serial number here. You move up, they did tone down the sticker quite a bit. So kind of a cool slate gray on the back end, still white, but not quite as jump out as, as the old H3 version. The first guide here uh, is, is titanium with a silicone insert to it. So this thing is, is super slick. You can feel it with your fingers, how slick it is. And then full re, um, reflux REC guides as you go up the rods. So these guides are gonna, uh, if they get bent, they're gonna back or pop back into place. And you're not gonna have an issue with those getting crushed. This this rod and really the, the whole Helios line, uh, the to me, the biggest thing that this offers is, is the rod itself is in a perfect circle. So what that provides you is more strength, more backbone, more accuracy. The cool thing with it being a perfect circle is that that the parts are basically interchangeable. If you had, say, two 905D rods and you broke a section on one of them, you could grab the section from your other and fish it to get you through the trip. So most other rods on the market are shaped more like an egg, where the top and the bottom of the rod itself are the strength points. And those strength points, a lot of people refer to them as the spine of the rod. And obviously the stripping guides get wrapped on at that spine. With this sort of setup, you don't have sides, if you think of it much like an egg, where the side of an egg is much softer. 
you don't have that issue with these rods. So if it, you know, the thing gets twisted a little bit, you're not gonna run into uh, weakness points like you would with an egg-shaped rod. Um, really comfortable cork grip, high quality cork grip. You quick, quickly notice that when you take a look at it. This F series is, you know, a very light swing weight rod, very easy on the hand when you pick it up, but the flex in it is quite impressive. You can tell that, you know, they've, they've done a bunch of testing with it, so they've improved the uh, durability of the rod by 20%. They've also improved the accuracy of the rod. So you definitely notice it when you cast this, this rod in really all models, you don't notice any rod vibration down the center. And in the tests that they've done on it, uh, there's some really cool examples that will show that this rod throws perfectly true or really close to it, much better than any other rod on the market. So you're not gonna get any deviation right to left, you're gonna be able to throw a straight line with it. So the F rods are gonna have the, the wood reel seat. And then when you move into the D rods, some of the trout models also have the wood reel seat, but then uh, you move into a black finish and a matte black on the rod. Same stripping guides, same uh, recoil guides on the end. And then when you step into the, the big game models, you get a little different looking cork. The top end of this cork is composite. So instead of it being a true cork, it's composite and really designed that way. So that it gives you more information back towards your thumb. Especially us as trout anglers, often we have trouble loading stiffer saltwater rods. And this is designed to really help with that. It's gonna give you information back into your thumb quickly, allow you to feel when the rod's loaded properly. Uh, gonna be a little more responsive um, just with feel. And, and I think it feels a little bouncier, but um, really like the way it casts. And then they've done a couple of cool variations um, as you step up. So the six weight, seven weight versions have a smaller fighting butt. As you move into the eight, nine, 10, you have this size of a fighting butt, uh, which allows even more kind of bracing against your hip or your forearm. And then when you move into the bigger rods yet, 10 weight plus, you've got even a larger fighting butt again um, for really bracing it or, or needing to, you know, put a, a, a fighting um, bell on the end of it or a pad if need be, there's enough there to do that. You know, they've even stepped it up all the way up into a 14 weight. So for the blue water anglers that are looking for a real utilitarian rod, you can get the D up into a 14 weight. I honestly feel like this is the best fly rod that I've ever fished. That nine foot five weight D just feels right when I pick it up and cast it. These are really phenomenal rods with some cool kind of problem solving things that they've done. All in all, I think this rod's a home run. People are gonna love it. And uh, I'm excited to fish it more and more as we move forward. Obviously you can find it uh, with us here at the Ugly Bug Fly Shop. Feel free to come in and cast it. We'll have uh, many of them strung up and be happy to let you take them out and check them out. They're a, a real kind of game-changing rod, in my opinion, and uh, something that uh, anglers, I think, are really gonna enjoy. Thanks for checking it out.